those. Nice. Um, so I have a couple of words here. Uh, what is this? This in English. Uh, Sam's book. Yeah, I mean, what is this? My book. Yes, and both of these are examples of N, no, N, but in English. So even though mine's a noun, it doesn't have the S that Sam gets. And how about this one? Her book. Her book. That's another example right. of no, no noun. So over here, when we do adjective noun, like in English, we have blue book, long hair, short hair, interesting book. These are all mm -hmm. adjectives, and they just go before the noun. And in Japanese, adjectives connect with the noun with either an I or a na. And it, for nouns, it's just no. So adjectives are a little confusing, but basically if you see an I after an adjective, like omoshiroi and with an E. Right. Adjective and boom, you already know it. If you just see like um, fushigi, like it's not fushigi, it's just fushigi, ends with a gi sound, then it it's a na adjective. That's basically how you can guess through it. But yeah, it's just saying adjective is describing the noun versus noun is describing. Almost the same thing. Yeah. Almost exactly the same. It just have different forms. That's why they're we're all grouped together like that. So I thought we would read through real quickly what happened last time <laughs> and we'll do mm -hmm. like, like every other type of thing. So we're like, our idea is like, like this really fast. Uh, so what is the first? Yeah. Uh, Fushi Natsuri House. What does that mean? Mysterious tree house. Perfect. Next line. Uh, Oni-san. Is that Chan? That's sorry. Yeah, Oni-chan. Which is just big brother. Yep. Then nan no hon yo yon de runa. Actually, no. Yon de tano. Yeah. Yes. So, what book are you reading right now? Exactly. The only reason why it's deta rather than yon de ita is just because it's been slurred a bit to be more casual because he's talking to his little sister. Oops. Well, how'd I do that? <laughs> Next line starts over here at imoto. Um, imoto. Aniga. So yeah, that's little sister Annie. Perfect. Uh, uh skip shinagara. So she's skipping while mm -hmm. uh Jack ni kita while Jack is listening. Mm. So that could be the con that could be what this means, but about 80% of the time, if you see ni kita, it means toward Jack. So it means that Annie, who is doing the kita, she is, mm -hmm. she could be listening to Jack, but in this context, she's asking Jack a question. It's very much context-based. But if you see me, 70% of the time, it is a question. Mm. Oh, yeah, because she asked about a book just previously. So while skipping, yep. she asked him, what book are you reading? And what's next? Uh, orange, iro, tayoga, tayoga. So, orange, uh, sun, the sun is orange. Yes, mm, nishi no sora ni katamute iru. So, nishi west no sora, so the west sky, yeah, okay, uh, katamute iru. Uh, setting? Yeah. I think that means. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And I'm just letting you know that sometimes when you see these no's, you tend to skip them a little bit when you're reading. You'll say like Nishi Sora or Imoto Ani rather than Imoto no Ani. Just something mm. a little keyboard or Orenjiro Tayo rather than Orenjiro no Tayo. So yeah, next line. Uh, Koko wa America no. Pencil, pencil, penia, penia, uh, shoe. So the city or, yeah, city or town of Pennsylvania. Basically. In America. In America. Shoe basically means state, but you don't necessarily have states where you are. So yeah. it, it's confusing. <laughs> uh, and the last line on this page? Uh, 
Chaku to Aniwa Furo Furongo. No, Frog Creek. Yes. Perfect. So Frog Creek. Yes. And what was the previous one? Chaku to Ani. Okay, continuing. Um Toi Machino Shio Gakuse. So Okay, it's a bit much. Um, so there's students mm -hmm. in Frog Creek, and Jack and Annie are the students who are attending Frog Creek. Specifically, they are students of Frog Creek. You're right. And what is Frog Creek? It is a. It, 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 it. Does it, it tell me? School? Is it a town? What is it? Is it, is it, a, is it a state? What is Frog Creek? Oh, machi. Oh, so it's like a what's it called? Machi mean isn't machi like road and like street? So that's miti, miti. Uh, I was like gonna have the kanji there, but then I got do 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 do. Uh, miti, miti, right there. Looks like that. Me, and I got eaten right over there. So this one right here means road or way. Miti. Which does sound right. a lot like machi, but machi is a little bit different. Why don't you look at like the kanji and maybe like be able to guess by that? We got like, I don't know, a rice paddy and like a road or something. Huh. Hmm. A rice paddy and a road. <laughs> so it kind of means like a town, specifically a like more rural like town. So it's not like a big city. Oh, so okay. It's so like a town just small. Finish. Yeah. So, you know, towns in the olden days were made around rice patties where people would live, they grow their food there. Machi. And do you know what to you means? To you. Um, does it mean, kind of remember, but it's off the top of my head. Uh, How about just you in general? Like the so verb. you is just to say, to utter, just speak it out. Is. Exactly. And toyu means like to be called kind of. So machi toyu, sorry, Frogukriku toyu machi means the, 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 the town named Frog Creek Frog or the Creek. town oh, okay. called. Or if you want to utter the town, you would say Frog Creek to refer to it. So toyu. Frog Creek. And then we just have this and we'll be caught up to where we were before. Got these stupid dinosaur names coming up. Oh no. Let's do it one at a time. So a little bit slower. Yep. Uh Iguanaton. Iguanaton. Yep. Su de gosa urusu. Perfect. So take stick us first. All right. Um Kyoryu, which means dinosaur, I think. Yes. No Uja. So the king of dinosaurs. Yes. And who's the king of dinosaurs? We'll be we fine on the next line. <laughs> De Ira no sa urusu. Trinosaurus. Perfect. And just so you know, this guy's actually a small T a small it makes it a T. Yeah. I mean, a T mixed into Tira rather than te, te but it's very hard to tell in this font. Yep. You kind of can tell because there's a weird gap right here. <laughs> it is a bit wider, yeah. <laughs> Everybody else is like right next to it. And that, that's how you theoretically would know because uh, that's just how the font on my computer does it. But yes, what is our last line then? Our last line. Um, Soreka or Sorekara. Uh, no chitai niwa chitai niwa so chitai niwa means era sorekara means in addition i guess yes so, and uh ano is that ano or is that part of the sentence uh this is ano oh, okay so, ano so chitai saying ni. this jizai basically but it's saying back when dinosaurs because it's not a very close to their current jidai so like Kono Jidai would be like the Jidai you're currently in, but this is a long time into the past. So it's Ano Jidai. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then would be Sora o Tobu. 
、翼竜、so, 空を飛ぶ、flying in the sky, 翼竜、and 翼竜 means dinosaur, so、uh, flying in the sky dinosaur. Yes, it means specifically it means winged dinosaur, and it specifically refer is the name of this kind of dinosaur, the Ew, pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, yes. Thank you for your dinosaur knowledge. I always... <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, it's made out of a winged dinosaur, the pterodactyl. Yep. Tsutei.、Uh, Tsutei.、Oh. Small... Yeah. Oh, okay. I made that same thing last time. So, Yokuryu Tei. Deyo no moi dan da. So, Yokuryu Tei no. もういたんだ。So, もういたんだ。So, before we do that, I'm gonna do a different, different color real quick.、Uh, do you know what te you meant? Te you. My hint、um, is that Jack is talking and not the narrator. And Jack is talking to his little sister. So, he's just emphasizing, right? Not exactly. So, to you, which you saw on the last page, And te you have the exact same meaning, but te you is more colloquial. It's him, t- it's because Jack is talking. Well, to you is like something the narrator would say in this book. It's more correct Japanese, if that makes any sense. <laughs> correct. Okay. So,、um, so remember what happened? So, mo right here is a particle, right? Yep. Also, a particle, and then we have no. So, this is an example of no and then particle. Let me just see. Sorry, let me just. I'm trying to get different colors. So, we have a particle over here, and then a noun before, kind of, which is yokuryu,、uh, specifically te you, rokuyu te you. It's kind of like a noun phrase, basically. So, then we, so we have a no and a particle. What does this mean? No and particle. So, the no. I know that the next part of the note is supposed to be silenced out. So it's kind of like it's referring to something that should be obvious. Yes. But is excluded、exactly. out. Perfect. And in this case, it's the kyo ryu, because he listed a bunch of kyo ryu. And even yoku ryu obviously must also be a kyo ryu. Kyo ryu.、So, because the context, we listed Igliadons, this guy, Tranosaurus. And since we're on the topic of dinosaurs, and Yokuryu is obviously also a dinosaur. So it's a dinosaur by the name of Yokuryu, Yo- is what that's saying. But dinosaur has been dropped off. Perfect. That's a great memory. Nice. So now we can jump into the new sentence. This one's pretty easy. What does this say?、Uh, Jack wa mo suku. And that kanji is kyo. Close.、Jai. It's not a yo. It's a you. Q、yes. chai. Q sai. Oh, Q sai. So we got e, 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 Yes, exactly. So, what does this say? So, Jack wa mo sugu. Oh, so Jack's almost nine years old. Therefore,、exactly. he's eight years old. Exactly. Perfect. And、um, this is just a little refresher. What does a na noun mean?、Uh, so, basically, the adjective describes the noun. Perfect. And the noun just connects them. Exactly. So, yeah, I can just skip through that then.、Um, I want you to make the word,、um, like the phrase, the litter, little sister Annie. How would you say that? Little sister Annie. Okay. So, we have Takai, Nagai, Fukushi, Tanashi, and Daisuke. Oh, Daisuke. So, I'm not sure how I would use little here. The best well, would probably be Daisuke,、well, but not really. The、well, little sister in English means a younger sister. <laughs> so、oh, okay. He, the, oh, wait, well,、um, yeah. Imoto in this case. So I see how that would be confusing. <laughs> It, it's one of those like, whoops. 
because theoretically it could be little because like Nagai is tall, Takai is tall. So yeah. Tisai, Tisai. <laughs> but yeah, I meant I meant younger sister, so Imoto in this case. <laughs> All right. So sister Annie. Uh a no noun. So little sister Annie. We already have little sister. Now we need Annie. Huh. I'll just circle Annie for you in there. How will you connect Annie and Imoto in order in order to make the little sister Annie in Japanese? So Ani no imoto. So Ani no imoto means the little sister is like the little sister of Annie almost. So this doesn't really work. This could be Jack Imoto no Jack no imoto, which would be Jack's little sister. That would be okay. But Annie is not the little sister. I mean, Annie does not have a little sister. Annie is the little sister. She so is, how would yeah. we say this? Mm -mm. Takai, 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 and Fukishi. So it's definitely, so it's none of these. It's, it is these two words. So if this right here means the little sister of Jack, how do we get, um, <laughs> So for this, we get, I'll, I'll just let you know. It'd be imoto no ani. Is what it is. You imoto had it no ani. Be the little sister. It'd be ani, the little sister. So like the order changes the meaning. So this would be the little sister of Jack. I mean, yes, the little sister of Jack. And this is ani, the little sister. Gotcha. Because I was thinking imoto no ani would mean like little sisters sister is Annie. Yeah. Oh, wait. Which that doesn't really make sense. So, so yeah, Annie Imoto would mean, uh, Annie no Imoto would mean Annie has a little sister. Like maybe her name is like Sam or something. Mm -hmm. I got like a big family. I'm going to erase these. Okay. Uh, next, I'd like you to make the sentence, the expensive rope ladder. The expensive rope ladder. Okay. You can I can uh, circle parts when you uh, identify the Japanese version. Yep. So it's not Fushigi. It's not Nagai. It's not the guy. Oh, it actually. It's not Tanashi. Takai. Takai. Does it mean tall? It Takai has multiple meanings, and it kind of means like a lot almost. It's like it can mean tall. Like a Takai Yama would be a tall uh, mountain. And it can also mean expensive. Um, nagai just means long. So it could be long hair or a long tree or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> takai has multiple experiences. So like, ah, takasugiru would be like, oh, that's too expensive. Takai. So yeah, we got expensive. Gotcha. So where is rope ladder? Rope ladder. Um, It's not hon. Uh, Taiyo. Might be that. I mean, I'll get to that one. Then it's Imoto, it's not that. Nawa Bashigo. Nawa Bashigo. A gut feeling tells me it's Nawa Bashigo. It is Nawa Bashigo. Yes. So, how would you connect these two words together? It would be the guy. Oh, there's already an I there. So, I'll then have to do something to it, don't I? So, I can't just say the guy, uh, Nawa Bashigo, can I? Or yeah. Can I? That is perfect. That is exactly what it is. Now, um, so rather than the fun book, I'd like you to do the mysterious book. So pretend this is mysterious. The mysterious book. The mysterious book. So, hmm. so how would I make it would be Fushigi already has an I at the end, so oh, it doesn't. It has a gi. Do... It has a gi at the end. It does not have. It has an e sound, but it does not have the hiragana character e. Is not there. E. So I could just extend it. So Fushigi. Nope. Fushigi does not have the hiragana e after it. It's not there. 
which makes it what kind of adjective? It's not an E adjective. So it has to be a not adjective. So yeah. For shikina. Perfect. Uh, hon. Yes. Shigina hon. Perfect. So yeah, that's a little confusing because sometimes things will be like, oh, it has an E sound. But um, hiragana E has things you can do. So it'll be dropped. For example, if it's an E adjective, for example, omoshiroi. Mm -hmm. What does omoshiroi mean? It can mean interesting or it can mean funny. Exactly. So omoshiroi has a shi and an E sound. And it's important to know that there's two of those because sometimes when you conjugate stuff, you'll have omo, so omoshiroi so is a different word than omoshiro so. These are two different souls. Um, one of them means like I've heard and one of them means uh, it looks like. So omoshiro so is the looks like version, I believe. And the one with the E sound is I've heard, like I heard a rumor. Mm. So that's why it's like important to know how things conjugate. So so with fushigi, there's no way to make this version of it since it doesn't have an E at the end. So it must be a not. E, yeah. Okay. So right over here, I have an example of verb no particle. This is different than noun no particle or noun no noun. This is, so we have a verb now. And um can you do me a favor and read this sentence? Mm -hmm. uh, Jack wa uh, shizen o kansatsu iru no ga and some kanji with a human. So I forgot what that was. Uh, tai, daisuki. Oh, okay. Daisuki da. da. Perfect. Daisuki da. What does this mean? So Jack, she's an all concepts. Uh, I forgot what she's an means. Then means nature. She's an okay. So Jack, she's an all concepts. I'm thinking of yeah, no, I was thinking of taisetsu, but concepts means there's miru inside of that. Miru. Miru. Concepts mm. has miru in it. Yeah, right, right over there. I see a little, like ah, oh, the kanji. Right over there in the kanji. Hmm. So future. It actually means no. That's mirai. Uh, sure. Observe. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tsurunoga. Daisuki. So Jack likes to observe nature, basically. Yes, exactly. So we see right here is a no. What is it doing? Uh, no. So it's, I know it's linking the two whole bits, but it's supposed mm -hmm. to put something rhetorical in there. Um, There's no rhetorical in there. That's thinking too far. So you can't say suruga. That doesn't work. So ga um and wa so both so both the particles ga and the particles wa and the particle mo mm -hmm. these three particles they they can attach to like the topic or subject of a sentence in this case it is the topic of a sentence but the topic um cannot be a verb the topic is always a noun so in this case niche observing nature you can't have it as a verb. We need to make it into a noun. So what no does is that it like nounifies things. So you can say suru no ga just allows you to put the verb before ga. Interesting. Okay. So it's just like a completely different thing to Absolutely. possess and whatnot. Completely different. That's why I have this big little cross mark in the corner saying not related at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, no related. Um, what what verb form is kansatsu suru? Kansatsu suru. So kansatsu no kansatsu da yume yomizu. Uh, which one of these three? So, is the same. 
Yes, we have sudo right here. So which of these three is the same form as concept sudo? So it's not yomu. Can't be that one. Then we have yomimasu. Then we have yondeiru. Uh, yomimasu. I don't think so. So it's yondeiru, I think. So really close. It is actually the yomu that you said no before. So really? Isn't that completely different? Shiteiru. Shiteiru. Right over here would be that form. Kansatsu shiteiru. And kansatsu shimasu. Shimasu would be the mas form. That's teiru form. So yomu and kansatsu shiteiru are both dictionary form. Ew. So can you do me a favor and make the mm -hmm. sentence Jack likes reading books or he likes to Jack read books. reading books. Okay. Likes so read books. So Jack wa yomu. Jack wa yomu. Uh, so Jack book no daisuki. Jack book Wait, yomu hon daisuki? Wait. Is that what you said? Jack wa yomu hon no daisuki. That doesn't make sense. It um, doesn't make sense. Hmm. So we have jack wa. Let's start from mm -hmm. over there. I'm going to put that down. This is correct. What is the next So part? then it would be reading books. So yomu. Oh, hon, I would imagine. So, in yomu, is yomu a noun or a verb? Um, so, yomu just means to read. So, yes. it is just a verb. Yes. And hon, is that a noun or a verb? It is a noun. Yes. So, the o, what does o do? It attaches the Oh, so I swapped it. You did. So it should be noun o yomu. Hon o yomu. Boom. Now that part's correct. And how do we continue this? Jack loves to read books. Jack wa so, no ga daisuki? Yes, no or ga daisuki. Da. daisuki. Perfect. Yes. And, okay. So over here, I have tari tari. Do you remember what tari tari means? It's been a while. Uh, tari. Tari tari. It means than. Oh no, that's yori. Never mind. Uh, not too sure about tari. So tari is a and word that is used with verbs. Mm. So we've learned en to en and en ya en. Tari, mm -hmm. is it similar to en to en or en ya en? Which one do you think? Uh, n to n, because it just means n and n. That's a good guess, but it's actually more similar to ya. Yeah. It tends to be a non-inclusive list. It means things like doing verb and verb. So it's actually the verb form of ya. Yeah. Now, um, so right here we have yomimas and we have yomitari. How do we make yomitari from yomimas? What part is taken out? Do you remember what that's called? So the mas is taken out and it's replaced with tari. Yes. This is called taking out the stem of a verb. Stem. So it's pretty simple. You just kill out mas and then you add tari. And it basically means and. Um, so over here, I just want to double check. Do you know what this means? Uh, so na hon. So interesting book. Yes. Um, do we know if it's interesting yet? Uh, I don't think so. Yes, we do not know yet. It looks like an interesting book. Is it? I don't know, but I grabbed it anyway. So now we have this sentence to do. Um, hon yo yondeiru. So, hon o yondeiru. Yes. Sorry, I misread that. Hon o yondari. Yes. 
あ自然を観察したりするのか、そうしたりするのか。Then we have, we'll read through the whole、uh, thing and then we'll separate it into smaller parts. Gotcha. So, 大好きな男の子、yes. だ。So, first off, what does that part mean? On a y o n data. So, reading a book. What is the d a t a Oh, it has d a t in it. So it says and, and then something、yes. else. Reading books and seasonal kansatsu study. What does that mean? Shizen kansatsu study. So, shizen, it means nature, kansatsu observe. So that would mean reading a book and observing nature. Yes. And this sudo just means doing things like reading a book and observing nature. Then we have no ga daiski na otoko no ko. What does that mean? So, no ga, basically.、Um, Say if I didn't have that here. Just a daiski da. Do it like that.、Uh, So then it would mean he likes to observe nature and read a book. Exactly. So in Japanese,、um, something you can do, which I, I forgot to explain, is that you can take the subject and you can turn everything into just describing the subject rather than a sentence. So over here we had otoko no ko. It's just saying, describing him with the na. So what type of adjective is, is daiski? Daisuke is an, it's a, well, it's not an E one. And what was the other one?、Uh, it was an E adjective and it was a. So Daisuke or na adjective. It is a na adjective. So this means the boy, and we're describing him as a boy who likes. That's, that's all we're doing. We're describing a boy who likes. Who likes. What does he like? Well, we got Daisuke. So Daisuke could get this whole thing added to it. So we know exactly what it is he likes.、Mm. So it's a boy who likes、um, reading books and absorbing nature. This right here, this sentence is Jakuwa. Jakuwa.、Uh, that is the sentence. If you took it out, yeah, to the basic it was that is the basics.、Thing. Yeah,、um, they decided this is boring just saying Jack is a boy. I want to describe what kind of boy he is like, is he a young boy, a tall boy? I'm going to say he's a boy who likes reading and observing nature. And then they're like, Well, we already know I'm talking about Jack, so let's just kill that Jack. Yeah, just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. We know who I'm talking about. I literally just one second ago was like Jack something a while ago. <laughs>、um, so, over here, I wanted you to start over here. Oh, sorry. I'm, so, I'm going to cross out half of this because you already read that this half the other day. Boop. There you go.、Mm-hmm. So, uh, Jack, what? Mosque, Kyo site. Did I miss anything? <laughs> yes. So Jack's nearly nine years old. Perfect. Then we have Hon o Yun Daru. So Hon o Yun Dari. Yes.、Uh, Shizen no Kansatsu Dari、uh, Suru no ga、oh. Daisuki. Mm-hmm. Should be an O right here. <laughs> This is a. Shizen no. Oh, yeah. Shizen o Kansatsu. しかし、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たち Yep, so Hon O Yun De Ri Da. So reading a book and observing nature.、Uh, and he likes doing that. Yes. The, the, the little kid or boy likes doing that,、Jack、which、Lex. is Jack. Perfect. 
And then what is this last line? Totsuzen, ani ga sakenda. Totsuzen, ani ga sakenda. So, ani is listening, totsuzen. So, my hint with sake is that one of the kanji is inside the one of the particles is kuchi, which means mouth. So it's not listening. It's Do you have another speaking. guess what it could be? Close. It is like a yell or a scream. Oh. So what do you think totsuzen means then? Totsuzen. Let's see. Totsuzen. Suzen. I mean, the shizen, if that's related at all. Uh, it does have the bottom kanji, which is the same. Uh, it's it surprisingly does have the same. Totsuzen means suddenly. Suddenly. Oh, okay. Totsuzen. Ani ga sakenda. So altogether, what does this say? Suddenly, Ani screamed. Perfect. And then we're going to see what exactly he screamed in just one moment. Before that, can you tell me what you remember what the particle ni does to things? For example, we saw um, nishi no sora ni, so, sorry, sora ni katamuite iru was one of our sentences we saw. And we also saw jaku ni ki, kita, which was ani. Uh, And over here is the taiyo wa so hi nishi no sora ni katamuite iru. What do you think ni is doing? <laughs> so, what I remember, the tor, no. Yes. Oh, something else. No, no, you're right. Oh, that's it? Yeah, towards. I don't know how to spell towards, <laughs> but it, it means like at or towards something. So, ani wa jaku ni kita meant ani listen to Jack. You're doing the listening toward Jack. Words, yeah. Then, um, this right here was the sun sets toward the west, toward. So, ni basically is being attached to a direction. So, over here, I had it like that the ni should be over here. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going toward ushiro. Ushiro. Okay, yeah. What is ushiro? It means behind you or behind. Exactly. So now, can you do me a favor and read this? So, Oni-chan, Oshiro ni kaiju gairu. Yes. Kaiju gairu. Oni-chan, Oshiro ni kaiju gairu. So, big brother behind you is a kaiji. I'm not sure what that means. So, kaiji doesn't really have a good translation. Sometimes we'll call it like a monster, but it specifically means a large, like, I don't know, it, it has to be big. Like a monster who like kills people doesn't work. Kaiju means like big, like Godzilla. It doesn't necessarily mean evil. Um, in this, it's kind of like almost like dinosaurs. She's kind of like, I feel like it's like the context, you know, because I'm imagine, like, yeah. i reading a dinosaur book. Well, dinosaurs are kaiju, they're humongous. <laughs> um, so yeah, big brother, there's a kaiju behind you. And then now we have this. What does this say? Uh, ani wa nansai. So seven that. years old. Yes, nansai. Boop, boop. And now we have yori and hole. And in the sense, so do you already know what this means? Uh, which? Uh, just, um, uh, I was just wondering, because like you mentioned before, like you were thinking, oh, this is not yori and ho. So I was like, oh, do you already know this? But in ichigo yori, ringo no ho ga ooki, what does this mean? So ichigo yori, so strawberry and uh, yori. Nigo no? Did I miss a word? Bingo. Bingo no ho ga o. Bingo no ho ga oki. So the strawberry and something is big. So that is a good guess, but yori does not mean and. 
So yori and ho are comparative words. Yori attaches to is basically less than, and ho is basically more than. So ichigo yori, oki, means that ichigo is smaller than. And ringo no ho ga oki means the apple is bigger than. So the whole sentence. Than. Ichigo yori ringo no ho ga oki just means the strawberry is smaller than the apple. Or the apple, uh, specifically, this is the apple is bigger than the strawberry. So we actually go backwards because our verb is bigger. Oki. Oki. So the apple yep. no ho ga. So the apple is bigger. The apple than is the strawberry. bigger. So can you do me a favor and read this guy on the bottom? Yep. So. Ringo yori uh, itago no ichigo ichigo no um, 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 hoga and chisai. Yes. Sorry, that guy got moved a little bit. <laughs> uh, can you do yeah. me and translate this using chisai? So I'll go from backwards because it's easier. We have hoga chisai. So this apple. Is small. We have no. ichigo no hoga. Ichi no no hoga. So hoga. That would mean the strawberry is smaller, yori, so than uh ringo, which is apple. Yes, exactly. So with yori, yori is easy. You just attach yori to whatever you want to talk to. Boom, 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 boom. I see ichigo yori. Ringo yori. Hoga is a little bit more complicated. With verbs, you just do hoga. And with e adjectives, you also just do hoga. But for nouns and na adjectives, na adjectives and nouns, you need to add the no or a na to it. So no na or na. So like bushigi na hoga, which sounds weird, or um, ringo no hoga. So in the text, we're going to be seeing a verb, I believe, which is just hoga. But I'm just letting you know that for um, things. So right over here, we have a noun. So that means it's going to be no hoga. And I'd like you to make the sentence. Um, I'm going to switch to English real quick so I can type this for you. Jack is younger. Or sorry, Jack is older then Annie. So we have Toshiue and Toshishita. Which one of these are we going to use for older? So from what I know, older means furui, but none of these so things furui. furui. So furui means old. But it's, you're, if you use that toward a human being, it is rude. You, you do not want to. Oh. That is very rude. It's like you're saying you're ancient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to say that to somebody. So toshi ue means the age is ue. And toshi shita means the age is shita. Do you know what shita and ue means? So shita means younger. So like younger sister. And ue is just someone older than you. Yes. So Toshiyue is older. And that's the one we want for Jack is older than Annie. So how will you format this sentence? We have Yori. What does Yori get attached to? Yori. So Yori would be attached to younger. Yes. The younger of the two. Who is? Who is Annie. So we have Annie. Oops, sorry. I, want, oh, I need to go grab my... Oops. I need to grab, ah, I wish it was like easier to switch between English and Japanese on here. It makes it well, Okay, so we have Annie, Annie, Yori, and then what comes? Yep. So after that, we would say Annie, Yori, so Jack is older than Annie. So Jack no Toshie. So, Toshio. Toshio. So, Toshio goes at the end of the sentence. 
So we have the more than part. Jack no. What do we say? Jack no. Mm -mm. Oh, hoga? Yes, hoga. Hoga. And then now we can say our um, thing that we're comparing stuff to, which what? Which what? is Toshiwe. Yes, Toshiwe. Toshiwe. And it's probably like da or something. So, Ani yori Jack no hoga Toshiwe, which is Jack is older than Annie. Now, I would like you to make the sentence. Annie is younger than Jack. So now we're using Toshishita. So what is first? So first would be Jack. And then, and then we would say Yori. Yes. So then after that, we could say, uh, what's the word? Hoga no. Hoga no uh, Toshishita. So well, something is missing here. Where is Annie supposed to be? Jack Yori. Uh, oh, it's supposed to be right before the Hoga. Yeah, yeah. And how does Annie and Hoga get attached to each other? Annie Hoga no. Oh, by no. Yes. So the no was accidentally in the wrong place because ga is the particle. You never put a no after ga. So right here. Jack yori ani no hou ga toshishita, which is ani is younger than Jack. Perfect. And over here, I am now introducing another particle, which is de. So um can you do me a favor and read this sentence for me? Uh koko de emego. Emeko? No. Ichigo. Yes. Ichigo o tabeta. So I'm eating an apple here, I guess. Perfect. So de is a location particle that does not move. There's no movement occurring outside of the location mentioned in the sentence. <laughs> so koko de, so at this location, I am eating an apple. How about this sentence right over here? Uh, pencil, pencil, be pencil, be pencil, be okay, Pennsylvania. Uh, she, she, de. so the the state of Pennsylvania, yep, Jack to Annie, what Jack and Annie, three house, oh, uh, Mikita, Mitskata, Mikita, which means Mitsukata. fine, Mitsukata. it is a big two. Very hard to tell, but yeah, it's it is found. Mitsukita, Mitsukita, which means found. Found. So altogether, what does that say? So Jack and Annie found the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, what is O attaching to? Ew, it's attached to the treehouse. Okay, so they found the treehouse. Yes. In Pennsylvania. Perfect. Exactly. Gotta keep an eye on those particles. I would yeah. like you to now do this sentence. Jack was reading a book in the library. How would you say this? First of all, which one of these yomus is reading? Mm. So reading is yon. Oh, no, it's not the first one. So there's this is like yo yondeiru, yomimasu, and yonda, which is yomu right there. Uh, but I made them all into past tense. So there's. They're all does. Yeah. So, yonda, yomimashita, and yondeita. Reading. It's yonda, right? It's actually so yonde. Sounds right. Ita. So yondeita. You might have thought it sound right because yondeita was found earlier in what book you are reading. But I'm just showing you the less spoken version. <laughs> Yonde, oh. yonde, I don't know. It just makes it like easier if you like to recognize it. Kind of confusing in this specific context. So that's that we want. And then we have yon pon for book. Toshokan is library. 
if you didn't ah uh, yes that word <laughs> little map and yeah jack. so how do we say jack was reading a book in the library jack was reading a book in the library okay so mm -mm, in the library so jack wa jack wa jack wa hon yo no yori hon so we don't have sense here um the particles we can use are de and o. Those are the only more particles we have left for the sentence. Jack so we have jack. Now we need a one of the, we need either a library book because we already used jack. So it's not library, so it has to probably be book. Okay, hon. And what is so... the particle? It would be O. Oh. Yes. Actually, no, would it? Because, because actually reading book. Yeah, it makes sense. So what what goes next? Would be reading, which is yon data. So this just means Jack was reading a book. So where do we do in the library? In the library. I wonder. Uh so maybe before they're reading the book? So right here? I would guess, no? You can do put it right there. So what? how do you say in the library then? Uh, maybe Toshio, no. Koko Toshiokan, does that make sense, no? Here. So we just said Toshokan, just means library. And where, what, what, does something go before it or does something go after it? For uh, in or at. Oh, we have te left. So before? Before? De toshokan? Toshokan de. Or no, sorry, this is de. That, that is sounds more de. natural. So Jack wa toshokan de hon no yondeita. That is the sentence of Jack uh, read a book in the library. This toshokan de could also go over here. That would be fine. Um, theoretically, it could go over here too, but you would never see that. Like, that would be weird, but like, you could do it. It just would be like, what are you doing? That's so weird looking. Like, are you writing poetry or something? Because, <laughs> yeah, because that's what particles do. They attach to things. So, since O is attached to Hon, Hon can go anywhere it wants. Just like Wa and Jack can go anywhere it wants, and De and Library can go anywhere it wants. But in general, Japanese actually te tends to follow a rule of what looks nice, which would be Toshokan either here or here, depending on what you want to what you want to do. So Toshokan de Jacku wa hon no yonde ita is just as good as Jacku wa Toshokan de hon no yondo yonde ita. Equally good. So now I'm doing another sentence for you to make. Can you do Jack likes reading books more than observing nature? Oh, well, okay. So it's going to be hard. Start is the same. Yeah. So Jack. -wa. Jack. -wa, perfect. Jack -wa, um, next would be the reading books park, which is Hon. No. Uh, yeah. Hon o yondeita, which is not here. In this case, it's uh, yon. Uh, I do have reading read in here because English is a little weird. Uh, but Yori, it, it just, it's basically Jack likes to read books more than oh, than reading books. It just yeah. English has more like weird little things in here. <laughs> so in this case, it is the dictionary form of it. But yeah, perfect. And what is attached here, Yori or Hoga? Okay, so we've finished Jack reading books. Now we're saying more than. So yeah. therefore, it would be yori. It, does yori mean more than? I'm guessing it's hoga then. So hoga is more than and yori is less than. Hoga, yes. So hoga. hoga. So what goes more on? than observing nature? So 
observing nature. So that would be Kansatsu Shizan or Shizan no Kansatsu. Shizan o Kansatsu Suru. And what goods attached to it? Mm -mm -mm. What is left to use? Uh, Jaku, Hono. So it's not hold on. We're looking for less than. More than observing nature. So we need less than in this situation? Because we already got more than. We got more than. But we do need less than if we wanted to have concepts of pseudo in the sentence. So then we would just add the yori. Yes. And do you remember what likes was in Japanese? Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, daisuki. Okay, yes. that makes more sense. Daisuki. Daisuki da, yeah. So this is perfectly good. In general, yori tends to go in front of hoga. Just like as like a rule of thumb, but this is perfectly understandable. Because hoga and that is like all nice and separated. So yeah, Jack prefers reading books than observing nature. For, yep. Perfect. And now we have a new sentence, and this will be our last sentence of the night. Or oh, morning for me, but yeah. Morning for you, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, Kyoryu Namai O Obairu Yori Oboi? No. Oboi. 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 Okay. Uh, Kyoryu. I forgot what kyoryu means. Kyoryu. Uh, kyoryu. You know what a yokoryu was? It was a dinosaur. Yes. So what would kyoryu mean then? Was it a flying dinosaur? So yokoryu was a flying dinosaur. Flying dinosaur was yokoryu. So uh, kyoryu and yokoryu both have you in it. And Ryu means Ryu. Dinosaur? Yes. Not so really? Kyoryu oh, okay. means dinosaur. Ryu on its own actually means dragon. Oh. Oh, so that's where the flying bit comes from, I guess. Well, flying bit comes from Yoku, which, which is feather. <laughs> oh. I guess. So, yeah. Then cool. we have Kyuso. Is that right? Uh, it's actually Kuso. Be careful. Kuso. Be sure to do it long. Kuso. Because Kuso. Kuso. The swear word. Oh, Kuso. Yeah. So, so make sure to go Kuso. Don't want to swear anybody out on accident. Yep. So Kuso no uh, Sekai de Sekai de Sekai de Asobu Asobu Hoga Asobu Hoga. Then we have Tanoshi. Yes. Okay. So first of all, so, what does Tanoshi mean? Tanoshi means fun on its own. Yes. But it's and like having fun. What does Hoga fun. mean? Hoga means king. That's a good guess because king was like Oja. Oja was king. <laughs> Which kind of does actually sound like that for some reason. But Hoga. It's hoga. not yori, but hoga, I'm asking. Oh, so yori is less than, hoga is more than. Yes. Yeah. And the more than is being attached to uh, uh, kuso no sekai de asobu. Mm -mm. So. You know what asobu mm -hmm. means? Something to do with the morning, I think. Nope, it means to play. Oh. Um, what is dad doing here? So the day, I'm guessing, connects Sekai to play. So playing in this world? Yes. So oh, okay. specifically in a Kuso no Sekai, which is a world of Kuso or fantasy world. So it's saying that he thinks playing fantasy games, like pretending that you're in a fantasy world, is more fun than Kyoryu no Namai o Oboiru. So... Remembering dinosaur names? Exactly. And we're talking about Annie. So Annie 
thinks it's more fun to play in fantasy worlds than to play pretend. It's more fun to play pretend than it is to remember dinosaur names. That is who Annie is as a person. Because obviously Jack is very much, I love dinosaurs. I'm going to say all the different dinosaurs that are in my book. And did you know there was a dinosaur called a Yokuru? Blah, 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 blah. That was Jack. Yep. And he's like, oh, I don't care. Look, there's a dinosaur. There's a, there's a big monster over there. Let's let's go. <laughs> Whenever she just screamed that suddenly. Um, oh, yeah. I know exactly what I want to do. So I was wondering if I could have access to your Anki web account. Um, this is because it would make it easier for um, editing the Anki deck. Because sometimes I'll notice errors and be like, ooh, there's a small error. So it's not like worth it to like go over oh, and yeah. send it to you because sometimes I'll like glitch <clears throat> when you do that. Yep. So something I could do is um because your your um computers and stuff lets you have multiple different accounts. Like you can see I have multiple accounts over Yeah, here. I've got plenty as well. So if I could just make one that is um you that you can just sign in on your account. I'll like leave the room so that I don't see what you um type in here because I can give you control of my computer. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, yes. Wait, I need to open my system preferences and give it okay for that. Ah, how do I do that? Wait, yes. You won't be able to guess my password. <laughs> do, 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 do. What? 